Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built. And now I actually have a running and driving car. It's time to finish up just a few little bits and pieces to get it ready for the engineer. So although the uh, 680 drive starts now at idle, I can just start it and move it around, it's fantastic. Uh, we did find a few little bits and pieces uh, in the, the testing that need to be uh, touched up. And, uh, and obviously there's still, I've got to hide away some wiring and do some bits and pieces before I can actually um, take it to the engineer on Monday. So um, let's go through and I'll show you some of those things right now. So one of the first issues that we discovered on the, uh, the dyno, and actually I've been noticing it for a while, is I've been having an issue with fan belts. And basically what's happening is that they are getting munched by these pulleys, which are, um, which are rough. And you can actually see here there's all this, uh, this black dust. Uh, it's actually just the it's, it's shredded fan belt um, that has been getting killed by these rough old pulleys. The pulleys are basically acting like sandpaper and just uh, sanding away the belts. So first job is to uh, pull this old dodgy belt that we just uh, slapped on it so we could keep it running for long enough to, uh, to, to dyno it. Pull them off and uh, do something about some uh, dodgy pulleys. So I've taken the fan off, and this is the uh, this is the fan pulley, and I don't know if this is going to pick it up, but you can the uh, the surface, the edge all around this is just it's really rough. It's um it's basically like sandpaper on the uh, on the belt as it turns around, and that's been shredding the belts. So um, I've got another pulley here that I can swap in. Um, it's actually been sandblasted. I've just got to give it a bit of a, um, a spray in black to make it uh, look nice and pretty and uh, chuck that in. But before I put the belt, the fan back in, the uh, the balancer is uh, is another issue. And I've got a, uh, a little plan to try and fix that up. So with the belt off the pulley, my plan is actually, I've got some uh, sandpaper. I've got some 36 and some 80 grit sandpaper here. I'm going to fold it up and uh, start the car with no belt on it and then I can actually get in there and I'll, uh, and I'll use the, uh, the rotation of the car to spin the uh, balancer and try and uh, sort of shine up that pulley a bit and see if I can make it a little bit nicer and uh, less, <laughs> less like sandpaper itself. That looks much, much better. Nice and shiny now, so that's uh, not going to cause me an issue anymore. I have to do something about the, uh, the alternator pulley. I might, uh, I might have to pull that off and, uh, and sandblast it or something and see if I can get that looking a bit neater, but uh, I think we're uh, on the right track. Blades and uh, pulley are all painted up and uh, I just popped down a super cheap. I've got some new uh, wiper blade replacements and a new belt. So uh, let's refit the belt, fit the wiper blades and uh, see what else I need to do. Okay, I was wondering why this uh, wiper blade was slightly different and uh, also why it had been cut short. And now I can see why. Uh, basically, this blade is off of something else. It's too long to be able to fit on the car. It does the job, but I've had to fit the old blade that was on it back onto it because uh, the other one's too long. And it goes off the top of the window and then it, car the, uh, the wiper won't retract because it gets stuck on the rubber. In any case, the uh, wipers are on, they're working, they do the job. Uh, now it's time to fit the wind, windscreen washers. Now, um, one thing that I, I've, uh, I've found uh, quite handy is uh, getting the tube, because I don't actually have the tube for the window washers, but I have this uh, garden 
uh, watering tube and it's, uh, it does the job quite nicely. I'm just uh, boiling up the kettle now and uh, dunk the ends in, um, in boiling water is uh, a really good way to soften them up so you can sort of get them over the, uh, the, the tight fittings. So uh, let's fit the uh, window washer and make sure that all works and um, we'll keep going. All right, wipers and window washer work. So uh, now it's going inside and um, I think next I have to fit some sun visors. All these little weird little things that have to be done to uh, keep them happy. So next, um, I've had to change my uh, gear stick over because the bushings were completely gone in the old one. So this one's a fair bit tighter. I mean, there's still a little bit of slop there, but uh, it's much better than it was. Uh, the other one, the, uh, the bushings completely disappeared and they were there when I put it in and uh, now they're just gone. Um, I'm going to temporarily put this together because um, Unfortunately, my dash is going to have to come out again. In the, uh, the few little uh, days during the day when this car has been sitting outside in the sun, the whole top of the dash where I repaired it and uh, painted it has bubbled up and it looks like it's got some weird disease. And uh, that means it's going to have to come out and going to have to be repaired again. And uh, next time, I think I'm just going to use um, sort of uh, underbody liner uh, on it. I just, I, I can't deal with this stuff anymore the finish wasn't too bad but it wasn't perfect but um yeah this this disgusting bubbling has got to go anyway uh yeah so that means uh, i'm not going to connect all this up properly i'm just going to sit it in place and just make it look a little bit tidier for the uh for the engineer so he doesn't uh, think that the whole thing is a complete piece of junk and uh yeah we'll see how we go All right, so the interior is looking a little bit better and uh, a little bit more put together, but uh, hopefully that will uh, be tidy enough. Okay, so the last thing I want to try today, I just, uh, out of curiosity, I downloaded one of those uh, Decibel apps for my phone. It's just a free app and it's probably not great, but uh, I'm just going to have a little bit of a look and see if I can get an idea of uh, how much noise this thing is making and if it's going to be anywhere near in the realm of uh, what I need it to be. Okay, well, sound-wise, it looks like it's uh, right around the limit, so fingers crossed uh, it all goes well there. But that is all the time I have today, uh, so that means it's time for Fun Facts to Mrs. Jeff. Hey, guys. Another issue with cheating going all the way to the top also involved Jean-Marie Balestre, the head of Pfizer, in 1990. At the penultimate race of the F1 championship that year, Etten Senna won pole over his former teammate and his biggest rival, Alain Prost. The winner of this race would win the 1990 championship. And at the last moment, John marie Balestre changed the pole position side of the track onto the dirty side. This gave fellow Frenchman Alain Prost the clean racing line starting position in second. Senna protested and was shut down. As predicted, Prost got to the first corner before Senna but, as Senna later admitted, he deliberately crashed into Prost, taking up both cars and ensuring his championship victory. Alright guys, I didn't get as much done today. Mostly, I've, I've got a cold, um, <laughs> man flu. He's got man flu. So yeah. it's pretty serious and actually we're lucky you're still standing. Yes. Because as we all know, man flu is the most debilitating <laughs> illness known to humankind. It is. <laughs> anyway, over the weekend, I've got still a bunch of bits and pieces I've got to button up before getting it down to the engineer on Monday. And uh, I've also got to take it via a, uh, a weigh bridge. So we'll actually mm. see exactly how much this thing now weighs, which should be interesting as well. Yep. Well, I hope you're enjoying the videos. And uh, please like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can follow us on Instagram 
and and uh, for those of you, uh, if you help us out, uh, join us on Patreon, and uh, Patreon. you can get to watch these videos a day before everybody else. So that's always a good bonus. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye, guys.